Folks, I had a lot of problems with this particular story, and it's gotten very little traction in the Dallas area, especially within the uh, black community. Now, the picture that you see in front of you is a picture of Jordan Edwards. This young man was 15 years old, doing nothing wrong when he was shot and killed while seated as a passenger with his brother driving by a coward, murdering pig. A police officer lied when he made up his report, and I do mean made up his report, and he stated that he shot at a car that was moving towards him in an aggressive manner. Now, I'm, I, I'm not going to be able to do justice to this because I'm that pissed off about this one. So I'm basically going to read you uh, the story. And again, locally, it's gotten almost no traction whatsoever. There's video, well, actual, actually body cam footage shows that Jordan Edwards was shot and killed in a car that was driving away from police. At first, Texas cops claimed they shot and killed 15-year-old Jordan Edwards because he was in a car driving in an aggressive manner towards an officer. But Balt Springs Police Chief Jonathan Haber has since said the car was driving away from officers before the cop fired, killing the teen who was riding passenger in a car driven by his brother. Haber said this after viewing the body cam footage that still has not been made public, but hopefully it will be shortly. But for the police chief to make that type of a statement basically tells you everything that you need to know. Edward's brother said he didn't realize his little brother had been shot until after seeing smoke coming out of his head about a block away. Now, I just can't even imagine seeing that, how horrifying that would be for any family member to be dead in a seat next to me with smoke coming out of their head. The officer that killed this young man, this kid, actually, he's a child, he's 15, he's a child, shot him with a rifle from a distance. It wasn't even a handgun. He shot him from a distance. Anyway, after his brother saw the smoke coming out of his head, he pulled over and asked police for help, apparently thinking somebody other than the police had shot his brother. Both the police and the teen say they heard gunshots prior to Edwards being shot and killed, but they could not have been, but they, I'm sorry, they could have been just firecrackers because police did not make a single weapons arrest that night. But the sound of gunshots shots is what prompted, along with his brother and three other teens, to leave the house party where somebody had called police to report on drunk teens walking the streets. See, and he, this is another case of uh, somebody out there telling a bold-faced lie and the result is a young man losing his life. John Crawford ring a bell? It's a damn shame. Police were inside the house when the shots of sounds of gunshots shattered the night. Even if someone was discharging a firearm, it had nothing to do with the teens in the car who were not arrested for being under the influence. Even the chief is saying the shooting was unjustified. 
So if that's in fact the case, I want to know the name of the officer. I want to know that the chief has pulled his gun and his badge. I want to know that charges have been filed against this officer and that he, at a minimum, was placed under arrest. But thus far, we haven't heard anything of that nature. We do know that the officer filed a phony police report stating that the car was driving backwards towards officers when his body cam showed that he was a bold-faced liar. You know, th this, th this just has to stop because, you know, it's going to come to the point where people are going to need to start taking matters into their own hands and then all hell is going to break loose. But I hope that the family has hired an attorney. I hope that the local prosecuting attorney does the right thing. And the only thing that is right in my mind in this case is for that officer to be arrested and charged with murder. Not first degree murder, but at least second degree murder, but manslaughter in my opinion is too light of a charge. Balch Springs, for those of you who uh, are unfamiliar with the uh, Dallas, uh, Texas area, is the town that's pretty much right next door to Dallas as you're heading out east on Highway 20, Interstate Highway 20. So it's, it's like right there as far as I'm concerned. Now, I always knew that when you traveled to East Texas, if you were there at night and you had a mishap with your vehicle, uh, you basically were taking your life in your hands. But now, apparently, innocent kids driving home, apparently, became target practice for a cowardly police officer, a cowardly, lying, pig-ass police officer, and now there's a family in mourning awaiting justice. Let's just see how long it takes.